Discern realities, man. Oh, uh, where? Ah. Discern Every reality. Every time I close my eyes. You have to ask one question. Oh. Bollocks. Yeah, which, which of these four doors? <laughs> yeah, I gotta figure out how to frame <laughs> a question. Why, why is a raven... Like the other. Why is a raven like a writing desk? What desk? should I be on the lookout for? Um... That chimney, it looks like someone has attempted to brick it in and make it look like it's not as large as it should be. And it seems like you could probably just pull the bricks out and then the chimney would be big enough for you to travel in. This is a secret passage. Wait, we have one just like it in my in my in 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 the Mayfield in Mayfield Manor. In opera. Hmm. Was there like no uh, matching up fireplace downstairs or is it that no, it, it's... Nope. Because, okay, so the north wall staircase is going like up and over. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, the stair, the... It's above the staircase. Chimney is now, yeah, it's above the staircase. It's in a different part of the house that you hadn't traveled to on the first Yeah, floor. we were, we were just running straight up. Yeah. Like, get away from these crossbows, man. <laughs> it's scourge. Excellent cross campaign references. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I like go over and start trying to pull a brick. Uh, like, is is this thing like, if you're gonna pull a brick out, like you could then peek in there, or like it's if gonna you pull fall a brick apart. out, it's all gonna fall apart. Yeah. Okay, I'll all pull right. a brick. No. Um, okay, you pull a brick out. The remaining. <laughs> no, I'm bricks good on start. pulling a brick out. Yeah, the remaining bricks start falling down the uh, chimney for quite a while. It sounds like there's some depth before they hit the ground. Oh, by the way, I reapply poison to my spear. Okay. Okay, I'm like, this is a deep one, boys. It's going down somewhere. Then I like your plan. Let's work our way down. Clearing rooms, as you say. What say you, you Eladamari? Eladamari. Personally, I'd like to find that man with the crossbow and uh, stab him repeatedly. But uh, I'd also like to find... Accidentally violently while shaving? Nothing accidental about it, but very violently, yes. And while shaving, well, I suppose we could call it that. Um, yeah, sure. I'd also like to... I'm also considering where the hell he stashed the old folks. So before we do that, I mean, there are these four doors here. We could, you know, open them and see if the, right. see if they're in there and then go down. All right, let's 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 clear these rooms then. And remember, there Just, is another staircase that goes up further yeah. into a shortened attic. Yeah. But which door would you like to open? Tell me what you want to do. Bottom left. Okay, you're opening the west door? Sure. I, I guess. Okay. Uh, the room is bleak and filled with broken iconography, smashed holy symbols, and tomes with violent or sexually suggestive artwork on their cover. Hmm. So... Inside, you see... Uh, Either holy symbols of Iomade, the sword facing downward that has been broken, or a iconography of war. I guess we found her room. Uh, quick look around. Yeah, I'll do like a quick ransack of like drawers and stuff just to see if there's anything interesting. I mean, we are adventurers after all. Looting is. We have to, stuff. yeah, munchkin it. <clears throat> We're trying. We're we're going really fast and not resting. So if there's healing potions, we need them. I take a look around. Yeah, there's Eight. no healing potions in here. There is, however, Some... a series of extremely in-depth writings uh, of uh, the philosophy of war, the Archdemon of War, and uh, there is a journal containing the mad ravings of this anti-paladin. Oh, uh, well, well. Uh, useful later, anyway. Could you be valuable. On... 
Yeah, yeah like I'm interested said, in the books. Uh, later. But how much? Um, let's see here. I will oh, pocket the dude. book if nobody else is going to take it. Yeah, and go for pocket, it. I mean, put, I mean, these aren't small books. These are. I, and by yeah, pocket, I mean put it in my backpack. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, it's okay. it's valuable Each of these lore. Books is one encumbrance load. Two, How three. many books are there? There are two. One is the uh, writings and musings on war, and the other is the mad ravings of an anti paladin. Yeah, I only have um, two open loads, so I'm not I'm not taking anything. I have a lot. I can you can put them in my backpack if you want if you want to read. Oh no, read that's fine. Later. Too bad we don't have Dave here. His chat would be making full load jokes. <laughs> Not to stereotype his chat, but <laughs> looking at you, Feral Kitten, Madrua, Terry the Hut. I got your numbers, bros. Bro uh, oh wow. <sighs> the door directly up across from that. <laughs> <laughs> I love the chat suggestion. They carry potions of harming. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Uh, of there course. is no door directly across from the western door, so the doors left are let's just go clockwise, northwest, and south. Let's northeast. Okay. Uh, in the northeast room. Oh no! Wait. Northwest is clockwise. Blah. Yes. Okay. Northwest room then. In the northwest room, you find a master bedroom that rivals any luxury suite. It seems to have seen recent and continual use. A four-post bed stands against the west wall, and windows lean out over the porch below. Two tables are set on the wall next to the bed, and a wardrobe sits next to the door on the east wall. <clears throat> there is a handsome wooden wash basin and an old iron tub. A translucent figure of an angry woman materializes and shouts as she glides through the air. What is she shouting? Not normal. Is she shouting like? Ah! Yeah, she's just shouting like random babble, and just floating back and forth. Um. Are, uh, are you okay? What? What's going on? Guys, that's not normal. No. Can you uh, tell we... me anything about this? Ah, uh, yes. That's a, and I will spout lore. Oh, well, that's a. Bunch of stuff we don't want to deal with and close the door. Oh, <laughs> yeah, nice. you well, recognize this as an ephemeral echo. Uh, you encountered them back in Hope's Hollow. Uh, the echoes scar. of. Is it dangerous? It's the thing that tried to jump down our throat, right? Yep. Okay. I yes, close the it's, door. It's going to. Close the door. Nevertheless, <laughs> like, yep. I'm closing this door. Okay. As soon as you close the door, the sound from the screaming just instantly stops. Like, we'll deal with this later. I will huh? take out a piece of chalk or something from... Do I have an adventures kit? I can... I, I carve into the door, like... A big X. Yeah. Open. No, no. You gotta um, use the apocalypse coding... Haven't yeah, yeah. you seen any of the apocalypse shows lately? You got the circle. Then you put how many survivors were inside. Are they infected? Yeah. Medical <laughs> no, you just yeah, dead maybe, inside. Yes, no. Yeah. Um, come on, man. You got to learn earthquake codes. Hmm. I actually don't know what they call that, but it seems pretty important to learn. Clearly. Yeah. You're not going to survive the zombie apocalypse without knowing there's two infected zombies inside. Uh, like I said, again, if you haven't seen Iceland, they're going to freeze to death. Yo, much. listen, man, I read, <laughs> I read, uh, Red Storm Rising. You guys are fucked. Red Storm Rising? Red Storm that Rising. That zombie? The Clancy Zomb novel. You're oh, just going to get shit Is it a zombie, Clancy? It's, no, a it's, zombie. Not, it's not a zombie at all. I was like, I was, it's that's what it was Iceland's confusing always me. I was like, Tom Clancy kicked. zombie, I'm about Anytime to read a Tom Clancy. Anytime there's a Tom Clancy novel, Iceland is getting its ass invaded by Russia. That's all there is to it. Yeah, Tom Clancy. They love using you guys as a stop-off point because you guys are part of our Sosis line of sonar buoys. Yep. Yeah. And apparently, uh, I don't know I don't know why, but, you know, we're... 
The, there used to be an air base here, which I have no idea why you guys abandoned. It was a useful... I thought it was, you know... Probably because of Red Storm Rising, because the base is the first thing that gets in in the book. <laughs> <laughs> it is, somebody in the army was like, reading this book, oh shit, we need to really create this base. Yeah, no, I, I don't get it. <clears throat> Thank Sh you, Tom Clancy, for changing yeah, gears. So like, if Tom Clancy noticed... <laughs> the I mean... Are gonna notice. Everybody knew about this airbase. I mean, obviously, was... Putin's primary source. All right, listen no. up, kids. Actually, read Red Storm Rising. It's an amazing fucking novel. I will go so far as to say it's almost the Black Hawk Down of books. It's close. Not quite there. What days did I have to watch Black Hawk Down? Every day. Are you talking about also, the movie Black if Hawk you don't Down watch Black Hawk else? Down on July 4th and September 11th, get the fuck out. Okay. We are talking about the movie Black Hawk Down, right? Yes, yes. we are now. We're completely off topic. Okay, yeah. so... Uh, There's no X reason not to talk about Black Hawk Down. I mean, it's a cinematic American classic. Yep, I love it, and I'm not American, so it's awesome. It's just awesome. It's a great action movie. Anyway... Uh, let's try the next door. One skinny kills this other skinny. He's got to owe him 12 camels. <laughs> uh, which, you're, you're doing the next door, the northeast one, clockwise? Yeah. Okay, inside you find antiques and oddities filling this strange display room. A wide tapestry of green and gold silk, its design resembling a family tree of events and dates, covers the eastern boarded wall. Smoke. Glass cases hold curiosities, among them a rune-encrusted skull that glows blue, an obsidian pyramid inlaid with gold filigree and a bronze medallion. A testament to the bizarre range of keepsakes here is a extremely large stuffed dire grizzly bear in the northwest southwest corner. How many, uh... <laughs> the grizzly bear is clearly oh. preserved from somewhere far away as it flaunts a stylized suit of armor. Okay. okay. I animate the grizzly bear and ride it to, to freedom. <laughs> no, His name no, no, is no, 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 no. <laughs> you animate the grizzly bear and have it take down the wall downstairs and eat the archer. Um, all that other stuff is just like knickknacks, though, right? Yeah, it's it's not displayed prominently. Or... Uh, it all, it is actually all displayed prominently. It's oh, oh, to okay. Be a curiosity. Okay. Uh, hey, Freddie. We need more time to look at this stuff. We just don't have it right now. Anything you you notice in here particularly like valuable or something? Allow me to give it a closer look. I just make sure my robe's not in there. Yeah, so Frederick William Mayfield the 14th, you enter the room and begin looking over various objects. Mm -hmm. And that's when the the um, grizzly bear corpse begins moving. And I think the audience sees it, but you don't. So, like, it starts flexing its claws. I got my back claws. to it, yeah. What happens is when it flexes its claws, claws don't come out, but needles with, like, liquid dripping out. Start coming out, and then it roars and stabs you in the back, and then you hear like a needle injecting sound, and you get injected with a shit ton of chemicals. What the fuck? <laughs> As you get mauled by this thing, let's see here. You get a constitution roll against uh, it? You take 1d10 plus 1 damage. Oh! I think oh, it's course. potion time. <laughs> yeah, like, your blood is turning to acid as the uh, chemical concoctions that are, are there are, like, literally turning your body against itself. Um, God, we're so really uh, F F So FWM14 is, like, writhing back and forth as he falls to the ground in pain, screaming. I think it's about time I, uh... <clears throat> Found out what happened if you stab a grizzly bear through the f head with a spear. Yeah, can I help by like picking up one of the displays and just like throwing it at the grizzly bear? Sure, like, you can pick not up to the rune damage. display and like throw it. The rune covered skull. Sure. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to aid. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! Ar Arthur specifically mentioned rune covered skull. Pick up something else. 
It's probably something really important. Sure, you can pick up the obsidian pyramid inlaid with gold filigree. They pick all up sound a shoe. Important. Pick up There's a shoe, no man. Fucking day. shoe. I take my shoe off now. I uh, <laughs> I get eight. Okay. Uh, so you've exposed yourself to danger. Let's have Thor's roll. Plus one right. on that roll, right? Oh yeah, ten. Okay. So he doesn't get to hit me, and I get to do a bunch of damage to him. Sure. Like about nine. Uh, uh, yeah, like you try to stab this thing in the head, and you, your spear like bounces off of the armor. It's clear that this thing has way more armor than anything you've ever encountered. This stuff is made out of like adamantine plate. Oh. Ooh. Eleven de eleven significantly reduced amount of damage. Whoa, piercing two is is helping, but not nearly enough. That's okay. Uh, Virgil, ah. like as it finishes injecting into Frederick Mayfield the fourteenth, and he starts writhing on the ground, he pulls its claw needles out, and then you hear like a sucking noise. Uh, and uh, the bear turns towards you and begins charging, like, rawr, rawr, rawr. and then, like, it raises its claws back and does, like, a slam towards you. What do you want to do? Um, I want to, like, uh, like, throw, like, do, like, kind of, like, a little spin and, like, throw my cloak up in the air so that it, like, it, like, kind of blocks some of its view and, like, dash out of the way. So it just like attacks the cloak instead. I feel like that would be intelligence based. Would you agree? Yeah, it doesn't matter though because <laughs> roll so just awful. It's actually gonna go from bad to worse, buddy. As it not only slams into you, but it hits the wall behind you, and you both fly out through the open air as it's just injecting you with this stuff, and you fall two stories. You roll... Okay, so that's 2d6 plus 1d10 plus 1? No, no, it's just 1d10 plus 1. You don't take any falling oh, damage. Okay, I thought you were saying okay. I was taking... This is this is going to be the time where I'm going to spend damage. that spend that hold that I still have to halve this damage. Uh, I believe that was a location-based hold. Nope, that was when we were climbing the stairs. So that was specifically on him. Okay, yeah. Tell me how you're stepping in to block this. Uh, I take the friggin' pyramid and throw it at the bear's leg, so hitting right, it at the so last that it minute, like, it stumbles, stumbles and a little bit. The and... right claw doesn't get a full series of injections. You How do still I do... push through the wall out down to the first floor to okay. the ground? How how can I? I'm just gonna try this. Yeah. No. Yeah. Why well, that's all right. I was trying to do divide by two overall. Uh, so it's six. You bracket it on the outside. Yeah. And you times it by one half. Oh, times it by one half. So it would be 1d10 plus one. Six uh, divided by two is three. Yeah. So my end roll is a three. Right? Result is a three, right? Yeah. Okay, and nine. There you go. That's some fucking science for you. Although that didn't work at all. In fact, it did the exact opposite. It multiplied it. <laughs> oh, that's why. Because I divided it. Shit. All right, but you can <laughs> see how you do it. <clears throat> yeah. Sort of. You can but do it. Okay. Yeah, you just have to parentheses your... Just remember, ladies and gentlemen at home, I have a degree in electrical engineering, and furthermore, I'm on my path to be certified to, ha to write my name on building plans. And that's yep. the kind of math I'm doing. Amazing. Just Double amazing. mathing it on accident. Mm. <laughs> you get twice as much math as you tried to. Yeah, you, you're just so mathy that. Uh... Yeah, anyway, you, you uh, get the complete wrong end of the number line. I'm gonna I'm gonna give Frederick William the chance to do something before I literally jump through that hole on top of a bear. And it's going to be awesome. Yeah, so the scene is me crushing, crushed through the wall, right? Yep. Like, El Domri, like, kind of blocks, like, one of the arms of the bear. And then we're just, like, falling out out through the... This is the edge wall of the of the yeah. house? Yeah, you're going through it and out. Okay. Going outside. Watching this happen to Perone and lying writhing on the ground, El Domri, uh, 
uh, Frederick William Mayfield the Fourteenth starts one last song, his swan song, nope. if you will. No. Nope. <laughs> Unless the uh, lyrics that you're about to sing involve Swan Song. I will remember you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> will you remember me? <laughs> Don't right. let your life pass you by. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't, Just roll I can't, it. Just roll it. <laughs> I can't even begin to take myself seriously while singing, trying to sing Sarah McLaughlin. <laughs> but this I is would have accepted thing. Don't You Forget About Me. Is that later in the song lyrics? No. No, oh. it's a totally different song. Oh. Don't I know you. I know the lyrics to a bunch of songs don't about about me. About uh death, Oh, that but... don't you forget yeah. about me. That song, yes. Uh, no, I'm trying to heal him in his death knells and Excellent. well, I'm at it myself. And um let's see because I have Uh, Eldritch Tones, I can also... Uh, I will also uh, make it such that uh, when the next time someone successfully assists him, uh, they get a plus two instead of plus one. Okay. Oh! Oh, yeah. Oh. So, heal and a, heal a D8 and... Yeah, plus two your next You guys day. are healing. And I heal myself six. Excellent. All right, you both get healed six. That was that was me on the heal. Yep. You both healed. get yeah. both get healed six. You had some crazy bard shit where I have the when you get move six. where I the move uh, healing song that we heal we both heal. Which is awesome. Da, 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 da. Okay, great. Um but I'm invigorated by the song, but I believe you. that as I was like falling towards the ground, I'll probably see something awesome happen. Okay. Eh? Eh? Will That's the one you remember me. I'm jumping through that hole, and I'm going to land on top of that bear, spear first, and <clears throat> then I'm going to... And if that doesn't kill it, which it probably doesn't, since this thing is made of adamantium or something, let's then we'll, we're going to find out how long I can ride it whilst impaling it. Yep, that's my plan, and that's an eight. Okay. So he's going to get to do something about this, but he's still going to get stabbed. Yeah, so I love the idea of you trying to dragoon through the thing because underneath him is Peronin. <laughs> But no, yeah, your spear sticks solidly in its back, and you deal some some of your damage, right? Like ah, it hurts. Ooh, 12, piercing right. 2. And then at the end of it, it rolls over on top of you. and just like So you're on its back, and it just rolls over, and you're just crushed underneath it as it just barrel rolls. You hear your your spear... Bear, bear rolls. rolls. I know, right? Get fucked. I'm so good at this game. 1d10 plus 1 damage, brother. He just uh, took four, 14, literally, so yeah. I'm hoping that did something to it. Uh, I mean, you split some of his armor. He's still a giant okay. undead bear. Um, so as he probably rolls off of me, right, and crushes yep. onto him, and I'm like, <clears throat> like, get my yeah. breath back. Okay, you! Um, how you doing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ah. I, I have a feeling, though, that maybe my spells will be effective against him, so I'm going to try to blast him with a um, magic missile. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I, like, f raise my hands up and then, like, pull them down, like, pointing it at the bear. Boom. <laughs> Uh, let's see. What is it? Two D four. What happened? Boom! Oh, huge rolls. Yeah. Unfortunately, most of that damage is absorbed by the armor. It is. Yeah. Yeah. You like you pepper it with all sorts of damage, but it just hits all these armor plates, and the bear turns towards you, and you hear that sucking noise as its needles begin refilling. Shit. What do you want to do, Frederick William Mayfield the Fourteenth? 
I would like to roll my way out of the hole in the wall into the next room. Uh, I mean, so the hole in the wall leads to the outside, and it's on the second floor, so you're just dropping out a window. That's yeah. where Peronin went, right? Yes. Yeah. And also uh, Eladamre. They yeah. both just... I mean, they're literally doing the Dragon Ball Z fighting game scene switcher, where someone gets their ass kicked so much, they go to the next stage, <laughs> and then everyone else has to follow them. Yeah, I'm going to join them in that pre- in that uh, protocol. So you're going <laughs> to combat roll Samus style out the window? I am going to a tiny I'm ball. Gonna ball and roll out the window, yes. Yeah, I feel like you're definitely going to need to roll dexterity to not break your legs. <laughs> Just intentionally flinging yourself out a window. This is going to probably end nope. badly. <laughs> yep, that's like you I said. You d d6. You fall two stories. I think you li- the only reason you get hurt is because you were literally rolling through this. <laughs> you just <laughs> land on like your ass, and there's like a, there's a, a sharp pain. <laughs> and a crack. Oh, oh, like, oh, oh, oh. I, I forgot. You forgot some glass shards in your ass. Oh, oh. You missed one, Peronin. <laughs> goes deep. Alright. <clears throat> What's your plan now, Frederick Roy May for the 14th? Take cover with the rest of them? Um. Well. Uh, I just, like, yell out, it's too strong for my magic. We're gonna have to either Run escape away! Or... Run away! And when I hear Never! that, I... this thing is Look at it. This thing is almost dead. Come on. Well, it's dead. Is it even right. damaged? <laughs> it's been pretty damaged. Okay. We're gonna. I'm gonna kill this thing. I don't know what the hell it is. It's sharp and painful and poisonous and I'm, indestructible and I'm going to unnatural. Say what you will. I'm going to take a look around and. Discern realities. Sure. And I get one question. Yep. And, um, okay. If I'm looking for a weak spot in that armor, what question should I ask? <laughs> That's should I be on the lookout question. for? What should I be on the lookout for, or what's useful or valuable to me? Which which one would I'm like? I'm just gonna ask you flat out, Arthur. Which one would you should should I well, ask? The whole what point I is do? like he he's he's probably not gonna answer the question you want, which is specifically why they write the move that way. <laughs> I mean, what here is useful or valuable to me? Uh, I mean, if you were to somehow de-animate this dire grizzly, it would probably be worth a lot. The inscribed armor plates, the clever injection alchemical system that's in it, it would be worth quite a bit of coin. That wouldn't really be valuable to somebody who has no idea how to do that, though. Yeah, but you could sell it to somebody who does. It's a collector's item. Okay, I'm more looking for, like, you know, can I stab it at the freaking eye? Okay. I don't know that useful or valuable would ever leave to you. And if you stab it in its eye, it dies. No, That's I mean... Useful. I mean... <laughs> okay, the, yeah, I'll give you that. The, I mean, the it's next, useful right now. After it's dead, it's no longer useful. Basically, what, what, I'm, what I'm considering is the next... If, if we were to manage to rest, I would now have the fighter move that's called Seeing Red, which gives you a plus one to discern realities during combat... So I figure there must be some sort of mechanic to, like, uh, spot a weakness or something. Because, you know, otherwise this would be kind of useless for, for as a well, fighter. fighter skill. Yeah. Tell, tell me what you want to do here. I mean, the bear is up now, and it's preparing I, to strike. I want to go try and... It's up. Does it have armor plates beneath it? Yep. Okay, I'm I'm gonna just try and jab it through the mouth. Alright. Probably not armor plated there. Let's go for it. I roll towards it and stab it through the mouth. And I get an eight. So it gets to attack me. 
but it'll take Silver Star to the mouth for seven and piercing two. Okay. Can you roll a d10 plus one against yourself? I can, but do I want to? Oh! Uh, that's four more for me. Tell me how you love- kill this thing. I roll towards it, stabbing it, st- stab right directly into its mouth as it claws into my arm, and I'm just suddenly like start trying to take the spear out and keep fighting when I just suddenly realize it's not moving anymore. And it's we're just like <sighs> you, you okay. That. That was far more epic than that damn anti-paladin. Ugh. So yeah, like now yeah. we've got you, this gigantic you. dead bear sitting in this open grassy area, and there's like shattered pieces of wood all around you guys from where the wall fell out. <laughs> but like a bird flies down as as the sun starts rising in the background, and it's like, bow, 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 bow. and some more birds come along and start singing. Very strange um. scene. I will try to start humming the tune the birds are singing. <clears throat> well, if it was you, I'd be worried, Jim. But fortunately, Frederick William Mayfield the Fourteenth is a much better singer. Damn, <laughs> nailed it. Oh, um, I'm a terrible singer. I have no, <clears throat> especially when I still have not beaten this sore throat. Arthur, I want to start around to the other to the side of the house that was that had the false wall. So there was like the space where someone was shooting from. Sure. Or setting up something to shoot, or whatever sure. it was. So uh, that false wall was actually inside the house, like there. Right, it's a false of... wall, and then there's like the real wall behind it right. somewhere. Right, and then right? there's another room past that. Okay. And you are now next to that room. Okay, guys. Uh, don't, well, think, don't suppose you have any more of that. Yeah, it looks like. Ah, and when you thingies. look towards the boarded iron-plated yeah, windows, you do see something that suggests that there's a dining room to the west of you. So, here's the problem. In order to get back to that room on the second floor, we have to go back to the first floor, which means going past that death trap shooting oh, gallery. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I still have a rope. Uh, just... are, you, are you ten full hit points down? Uh, no, down. I'm, down, I'm down eight. I'm only down eight. Yeah. We do um, have, armor according for the to the, the party treasury, we have two healing potions. I have two. three myself. I have one. Okay. Well, I'm going right. to drink one of the two. Okay. Sounds like a good idea. I'm still yeah. at 15 of 20, so I'm feeling fairly spry. Yeah. I'm, I'm good. I'm just going to wait until um, I've lost more than t- 10. We're trying uh, to work our way from the other side of that, that wall with all the holes in it, right? I mean... This one do you here. have a like do you have a, a means of getting the rope? Oh, you never left the room. Can you toss that rope down to us, Eladamari? No, Eladamari is down. Oh, down. Right. We're all I jumped place. on top of the bear. Can you grap? Do you have a grappling hook that you could get the uh, rope back up to that room? Uh, well, I have an adventuring kit, and uh, hey, yeah, I do. I'll use up one of my. Uh, As adventure- a matter of fact, I do. I do. Who knew? Because bypassing that shooting gallery would be most agreeable. Okay. Yeah, you toss a grappling hook back up to the curiosity room. It lands and hooks in easily. You all can climb up at your leisure. Great. Okay. I like it. And the first thing I'm going to do when I get up there is say, okay, that kind of defense is warrants something valuable in here. I just want to say, by the way, what, the first time I ran Tears at Bitter Manor, people lost their shit over the embalming bear. That's actually <laughs> a really cool trap slash encounter. That guy was awesome. Embalming bear. Embalm bear? Yeah, I... so what it does is it injects you with embalming yeah. fluid to prepare you for the grave. <laughs> All, uh, like, yeah, okay. It's like two two in one yeah. machine. Killing, preserving machine. It's quite quite handy. It was terrifying to be yeah. It was burned, awesome. stabbed, and pickled or grappled whatever. all at the same time. 
All right, so we hustle. We get back up into the room, and there's the other oddities. And I'm like, "Don't fucking touch anything!" But get the you hell said, out of here. To... "I'm gonna. I'm, I'm. I'm taking a look around here, just okay. uh, you are discerning them realities." And I have no. Are you freaking sure? Clue. That's safe. Interesting. I roll a six. Yeah. Let me see what I want to do here. Guys, look around. I'm sh- that freaking traps is sure so, to warrant some sort of. Aladamre, while you're looking around, you notice that the rest of your adventuring gear got caught on like a loose nail when you were entering the hole, and all of it has spilled out. Ah, oh, cr- ah. Previously Wait. undetermined items, as soon as they are observed, uh, f- collapse in the wave function. Of course. And yeah. Become an item and fall on the ground. All three of them? Yep. Um, all three of them. You bastard. That's a little, that's pretty harsh. Oh, uh, well, you tell me what you want them to be it's, now. It's, oh, I was going to start listing things. Uh, let's see. A grand piano. Nope. Uh, that would never be an adventure. I was going to say, like, a sewing kit and, like, a pickaxe. And a ten foot pole. No, I mean they're destroyed, right? No. Yeah. No, I mean they're down they're at the bottom usable. of the thing. You just have to define them now rather than when you want. To. Oh, I just have to define them now. Okay. Uh, fl- can, flint and tinder. That's one thing, right? Sure. Uh, <clears throat> we're going the Minecraft route. Uh, Obviously, you want pickaxe. They can, and they can only be Minecraft stone. items. Yeah. <laughs> Only mine. Uh, a crowbar. Okay. A chicken egg. And <laughs> a creeper. Um. <sighs> exactly, is... Riga. Exactly. See, this is the problem. This is supposed to be, you know, something you need. A... Uh. Damn it. I can't think of anything. I would say maybe a lamp. Hand blender? <laughs> Hand blender. I Bandages? Like <laughs> From the mummification. <laughs> you need to make like a banana smoothie real quick. I assume a hand blender in this day and age is literally just like a corkscrew. <laughs> yeah, one of the corkscrew yeah. things you do. <laughs> it's like those it, yeah, like it's some your, two whisk, two whisk uh, fashion uh, drill. Yeah. 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 Ha- I'll go with hand lamp. That's good. Good suggestion. And then they saw just... someone trying to sell one in town with the slap chop. <laughs> with a, the slap chop. Sl- slap it. Chop it. <laughs> which would have been gr- Which would have been super useless had I not uh, mentioned the fact that I can light it. Uh, okay, I've listed right. what my adventuring kit actually consists of. All right, what do you guys want to do now? You're still in the curiosity room. Ella Damre is over in the corner, like crying over all of his lost now, now uh, quantumly defined items. <laughs> yeah. <Aww. laughs> we should uh, we should get out of uh, we should be more conscious that this this house is this the owner of this house is a devious devious villain with these with these wicked traps, uh, and we should get I, out. I would go as far to say an asshole. We're in- in charge here is an asshole. Well, I'd use well, strong language personally, but uh, that's a bit asshole works. Asshole's a, good, no. asshole's a good word. I like it. Um, all right, it's going to be for me to leave the room and like get get you know get back in the main room with all the other doors. So we've now gone through the west and the northwest, right? So yeah, you guys northwest. are leaving the curiosity room without taking anything, right? Yeah. Apparently, they don't want to look around. Uh, looking I'm around scared. really got me embalmed. Two, yeah, I mean, two of you have failed to look around so far, so there's, it's really just down to Peronin. Oh, yeah, and I'm just like, fuck this shit! <laughs> oh, that's probably where all the best treasure is. <laughs> Pish, you can come back later when there's less danger. <laughs> we still have a murdering socio- psychopath downstairs to deal with. Okay, so what do you want to do? Check the last door. Make sure the old folks aren't in there. Okay, you're checking the door to the south. We also have a northeast door, I believe, to check. No, the northeast oh, door is uh, the curiosity was... room. There's the northwest door. Is do not enter door. 
Right. Oh, yes. Yeah, dead that, inside. Yeah, northwest is the do not enter. I was thinking that was west, and we were one door behind. I've got my mental picture messed up. When you open the <laughs> south door, you find yourself entering a decrepit library with its walls lined with leaning wooden shelves. The shelves are almost breaking under the weight of the tomes that they must bear. <clears throat> a few desks and long tables are also piled with books, scrolls, broadsheets, and almanacs. Obviously part of an ongoing research project. I'm going to see if I can find this thing here. There's a creature floating off the floor. I don't know if I can find the picture of it. Rut row. <clears throat> I would like to have one because it looks pretty cool. But... Yes, I like that. It's a. An... Oh. <clears throat> Chad has taken it to the next level with describing this house's owner. He is beyond an asshole. He is a full on ninny. <laughs> ninny, a ninny muggins? A ninny, yeah. There we go. He's he's a cotton headed ninny muggins. Yeah, so I mean there's a creature there floating above the ground. Its tentacle arms are grasping all sorts of scrolls and research documents as books hanging off of it. It appears to have no eyes and just has a mouth for a face. Okay, yeah, I say, uh, I say, immediately uh, leave and shut the door. <laughs> um, yeah, about that. Um, I, I like your idea. Okay. Like <laughs> so, yeah, when you shut the door, you hear a voice call out that's like, Wait, come back. I look for a way to lock that freaking door. While you look for a locking mechanism, I'm going to draw another X on this door. I'm, gonna let, just look, I'm just looking for a chair or something to prop, you know. So you hear, like, a ripping noise, like paper being torn in half, and then you notice that between all three of you, that creature is now floating. <laughs> yeah, so, like, you lock the door, and you're like, we did it in time, and there's, like, a... <laughs> And then there's the creatures floating. Uh, and I'm just like, sorry, we're, we're not looking for the library. Just need the loo. Can you point us to the loo, please? Of course. It's on the first floor. Take a right at the bottom of the staircase. Take a right again. Take a third right. It'll be there on the left. Wouldn't that put us back where we started? No. Maybe. It'd depend on distance travel. I don't know travel. where you came from. Uh, the bottom of the stairs. At the bottom of the stairs. Take yeah, we light. missed it. We'll just just shut the fuck up, Frederick, and we'll go downstairs and look for the loo down there. Thank you, sir. Frederick, right, right. As in Frederick William Mayfield the Fourth. Oh, how Frederick do you know my son. name? <laughs> I've heard of your father. Damn it! Why has everyone heard of my father but never heard of me? They told me you killed him. <laughs> Scandal. What? What? <clears throat> Um, She's gone on at great length about you, Frederick William Mayfield the Fourteenth. How do you know that? How do you know I killed my oh, father? And I'm, so, <laughs> I mean, what are you talking about? The creature like pulls out some ink and like an inkwell and a quill, and then just like leaves them floating in the air and starts writing stuff. And the inkwell is still just floating there. He's like, "Tell me how it felt, and remember, this is very important research." Look, uh, um, uh, I don't mean to be uh, rude here, but maybe you could just. I, I know, really have to go to the bathroom, so uh, I, really... I can wait for you to get back. Uh, excellent. Well, uh, I, so um, I, I start making for the stairs. Okay, so yeah, we're done. Down I, we're done. We're ready so to go down. Wait, no, 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 no! Don't. I, I like stop you. No, wait. don't go down that staircase. Look, um. I don't know, uh... So what's your name exactly, Tentacle Dude? Ah, uh, my apologies. What is your name? Mine? Oh, I don't believe I gave it. In polite company, it is considered... polite to introduce oneself before asking. Well... You can see it's like stopped writing and now like ink is dripping onto the page. Well, you see, 
Well, you've already gotten one name. It's only fair we get you, we get yours. Then we keep keep introducing ourselves in a circle. You know. If I gave you my true name, you would have power over me. I suppose oh. you can just call me Shasera. Oh, well then you can call me Bob. I understand, Bob. That is a good move on your part. Tell me why you feel the need to lie to me. And remember, I this is for important research. <laughs> Probably. Dips and right well, as you, as you just said, one's true name grants power. You seem to know an awful lot about uh, my friend here just by hearing his name. So here's an idea. Let me just float this by you. <laughs> just run this as, by. As, as, as he's floating in the air. You go back in there. We'll just be leaving and we'll leave you alone. You can do whatever you like. And, uh... I could leave, but why don't you stay and talk to me for a short time? There's so much I want to know about all of you. Especially Frederick William Mayfield the 13th. Ah, uh, yeah. See, we're kind of on a timer here, so maybe you go back in there... And then we'll come back to you later. So I give you my word. So he strangely at your spear. And then he goes, Did you perchance take that from your father? Last chance. Get back in the room. Tell me about your relationship with your father. <laughs> Tell me about uh, your father. Uh, uh, I'll <sighs> be like, I'll be like, I mean, I could, well, I don't remember my father very much, but, uh, but I do remember that he... He never let me stay out as late as I wanted to, and I thought it wasn't fair because I was a very responsible boy. And uh, all right, he always all right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I start like talking. When you're uh, talking, Coronin, like... this creature opens its mouth mm -hmm. and like puts its tongue into the air and then swivels towards you, and then the rest of its body follows, and it begins moving closer and closer towards you with its tongue out. Oh, it's paying attention. Good. I'm like, and see I... the. Applesauce we used to make didn't have cinnamon, and I would always want to add my own cinnamon. You're right. Life. You're right. I'm not being fair. Let me tell you about my father and what he taught me. Like, for instance, it's better to stab people in the back than the front. Stab. <laughs> okay. You want to attack this creature from behind? Sure. Yeah. Uh, do I get any bonuses for on my hack and slash? For, yeah, do I? Know, can I? Uh, so, I mean, you can aid for that Peronin, but there's no bonuses. I mean, uh, that's kind of what I was going yeah. for. Just like trying to get the, the, the situation changed. Let's hope I can get a good aid. Uh, 2d6 plus 1. Yes, oh. perfect. Yeah. Yeah, plus 1. Plus 1, and no bad stuff to you. I get a 10. Because that's nice, because I don't want to expose myself to whatever the hell the, that thing can do. Oh, All perfect right. rolls. But that's, how do I do. that's how you do that, chat. That's how you do that. Oh, yeah. And he takes 11 with piercing, too. Yeah, so you ha tell me how you stab this thing. Like, stab I just, it straight through the back? I just pretty much stab it straight, straight, uh, straight through where a normal person's heart would be. Okay. So yeah, Stab. it looks down as your spear tip comes through its chest, and then it like starts inking its blood, and it's like, I appear to be dying. Could you give me a moment? Please. I'm like, how does that feel? Could you describe it to me? It's and very it important for my research. It, yeah, it explodes into paper. Like, its body, as it's dying, its skin just becomes like sheets of paper everywhere. You know, I can't say many good things about my father, but he did tell me, t teach me, teach me how to fight good. Never do it fair. All right, I feel like it's time to take a break. All right. Yeah, like we we see these papers just fluttering down all around you, thousands of them, and we'll be back in like eight minutes. <laughs>